What's up? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. And I know why you're here, man. You're here for part two. Part two of the PSA dagger build out. And oh my goodness, this gun looks freaking awesome, man. It looks great. And for those that want to know, yes, the gun is clear. There is nothing in there. I know some people be kind of tripping about that. So I just want to show you. But the gun came out absolutely Dude, it's a beautiful gun. What I'm going to do is jump up on the table and show you everything about the slide, all the components of it and why I chose what and kind of let you know how we got to this point. Hey, if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I need your subscriptions. Please subscribe to the channel. If not, just drop a like, drop a comment. Let's get some dialogue going and uh, let's jump up on the table so you can see this thing, man. Oh my goodness, it's such a pretty gun to the table. Oh man, break, reset, break, man. All right, y'all, y'all just got to excuse the table. There'll be all kind of stuff on this dang on table, man. I'm always working on something. But let's talk about this, this slide, man. So I end up going with the Safiri Precision Joint, man. We're just going to call it the ZP. You know what? Let me let me get a little bit of zoom for you. Okay, here we go. So check this thing out, right? Dude, this slot is freaking beautiful, man. The main reason why I went with this slide because I wanted the sniper gray and I wanted like the stainless barrel, but I had a ZP barrel that I bought Dude, way before, and it's just been laying around, and I've been wanting to use it. I was just kind of worried about how the color combo would look. But to be honest with you, man, this copper on the Sniper Gray, dude, this thing looks freaking sick, man. I love the way the ports line up with the slide. The, the flush cut crown barrel, man, it's a good looking slide, bro. This front side, I don't even know what this front side is, man. I literally had it sitting around. It was an all black joint. I put a dot of orange on there and I'm honestly thinking I'm going to take it off, man. If I have a gun with a red dot, if I could, I prefer just to not even have any sights on it, man. It's just kind of like my, my personal preference. But let's talk about how I kind of went with this slide because there's a couple things that I did that's just slightly different. So my guide rod this is a flat wire spring guide rod. It's my personal preference. I like this. I like the stainless on the inside. Um, another thing, talking about some of the internals, you have the, I want to say this is the extractor plunger depressor. I got this all polished. It's kind of helped it work a little bit easier. The plunger, same thing. Got that thing polished up. And then these springs, just a regular stock spring weight, nothing changed, right? So one of the things I did differently on this gun that I've never done before is the channel liner, right? Normally when you get a channel liner, it's this plastic joint, right? And when you have your firing pan and a firing pan spring all working on this channel liner, sometimes it kind of get hung up a little bit and it can affect your trigger, your trigger system, right? So I've heard about getting stainless channel liners, but I've never had one. So this is the first time that I got one. So I'm really excited to see how that works in there, man. And if you got a slide and you already have your channel liner installed, it's really not hard to take them out. I want to see if I got this tool out here. A few moments later. All right, you just need your channel liner tool. And one side is threaded and then the other side is smooth. And basically what you do is when your channel liner is in there, you just kind of put the tool in there, kind of thread it on, and then you can pull it right out. And then it's plastic, right? And then putting it back in, you basically just use the other side of it, the smooth side, put it on there, and then you insert it in. But the dope thing about the stainless is that it, it runs in the channel so well, you don't even need a tool to put it in and take it out. It just basically just goes in and out. So I'm really excited about that. Now I want to get stuck, right? <laughs> but I'm really excited to see how this stainless uh, channel liner works in this dang on gun, right? Now, one of the things about the channel liner is I polished it as well. When you get it, it's it's somewhat finished. 
but not just necessarily polishing the outside, but the inside as well, because that's where all the action is going to be. And you're probably like, man, how do I polish the inside of that? If you get you one of these little felt type of wheels and you can get one, I got one that was like for um, like a 22 and you put, put it on the end of a drill, throw you some flits on there, and then you can run this felt wheel through it and then you can polish the inside. So that's super dope. Like I said, I'm really excited to see how that works together in the slide, right? Um, also, I just got a standard extractor, and then I got my SLR. This is like a black anodize, and dude, when I put this thing on, it was all so freaking tight, man, when I was taking it off, so I can show y'all the inside of this. I actually scratched this thing up, but it's all good, man. It's just a gun. It's going to get some wear and tear on there, but all together, man, dude, this was like the last pieces that I needed to finish the gun and get it all together. Now I got to get it out to the range and see how she runs, man. But I'm telling you, this slide is, man, it's nice, bro. It's nice. I really like this kind of knurling on the back of this. I want to say it was kind of different, but I've seen this before because there's another company that did my, my 19X and it has the same type of knurling on the front and on the back. And it's, man, it's super grippy very very aggressive and dude i'm just looking forward to getting out to the range and same thing this ported flush cut and this isn't from zp that's like a whole nother gun from a whole nother company but getting this thing all together and operating dude i am excited let's go Hey, if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I need your subscriptions. <laughs> and of course, I know y'all want to see it all done up, all together. And tell me, this is not a good looking gun, bro. I ended up going with the Agency Arm Trigger. And the trigger is super, super nice, man. It is breaking very well. Look at the reset. Oh, man. Break. Reset, break, man, this thing is nice, man. And having all them polished rails, the gun, it, and it's smooth, bro. It's smooth. I'm looking forward to it. I got my, this is an old school Terran Tactical Purple Joint. I don't even know if he still makes these mag extensions, but it looks freaking good, man. The gun is beautiful. We're going to get it out to the range. I'm going to get you some footage. And uh, we'll do a recap, but right now, this is the PSA Dagger build-out part two, man. It's done. Let's get out there. Let's do some shooting, bro. That's <laughs> all I got for y'all. I am out.